Hello, my name is Chloe. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you an unknown weekly reading vlog. I don't know what number this is. So this will actually be the last weekly reading vlog that you guys see for like two weeks um, because I am going away at the end of next week. So my schedule is in the air. You will still have two videos a week even when I'm not around and I don't know why I'm even telling you this because you will still see this vlog on time. But I'm pre-empting stress of editing and whatever else. So welcome to this reading vlog. I have just filmed my May TBR, I've just wrapped up last week's vlog and I have a lot to do today. I have two more videos I want to film, two I want to edit, Patreon reading sprints, I want to tidy my entire apartment and I haven't even finished work yet. So hold your breath for me. We will get this done, we will get through my to-do list, and I don't even have a book update to give you. Audiobook for the week is definitely gonna be Roses of May. I did start this and then I looked at the physical copy, tried to work out where I'd gotten to and just genuinely didn't know. So I'm gonna start again from the beginning, and I'm actually gonna start this tonight while I work around my flat, tidying up, things like that. So this is the current read, current physical read, is You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone by Rachel Lynn Solomon, which is a book about twins trying to find out if they have the gene for Huntington's disease. Um, but I haven't, I got to chapter three, which is page 24, and just haven't had the emotional preparedness to pick it up again. So these are the books I currently have on the go. <laughs> what I will do with them is anyone's best guess, um, but I need to tidy it up and get ready for sprints in like an hour, and also eat, and... <sighs> so many things hello hello i have not long got home on tuesday and i have a few goodies to show you because there is a clothes sale at work the money goes to charity so i decided to haul some clothes that i really don't need um first of all someone donated this primark hoodie and it's just a cropped black hoodie and do you know how many times i've wanted a plain black hoodie so i'm gonna try that on we have these little shorts i thought they were adorable we have a little top very summery cute little cami top i think that's what it's called the same print in a i think it's a play suit if it's not full trousers but it's like crop trousers so it's like a vest top at the top down into wide leg shorts so basically i can get this if the models wear the clothes and um, they can't sell them in store so they go to staff i got this dress with stars on it's like black with like rust colored stars more floaty shorts and yeah this is the last thing i just got a top with some little flowers on i thought this was cute you can dress it up dress it down versatile <laughs> why am i trying to sell the clothes i don't know but yeah i need to try all this on i won't do an old-fashioned chloe fashion show no one needs that but yeah do need to try these things on i got some stuff for my mom and dad as well um and i'm absolutely starving i normally go line dancing on a tuesday but i've just got too much to do so my bags are over there partly packed for america i also have a bag over there for a weekend away in cornwall which needs packing and um just need to do a lot of stuff uh, so i've decided not to go i'm already regretting it because i feel like that's like my main exercise for the week but i am going to be walking a lot this weekend so it's fine i need to try my clothes on and have some food because i'm starving hello hello so couple of quick updates it is wednesday at half eight. Oh my god kind of like get in bed <laughs> i have not been in a reading mood at all the past couple days i've just been getting in bed and watching bridgerton and i'm tempted to do the same thing tonight i might try and read maybe give myself like an hour's reading hours bridgerton something like that got a few updates um first of all roses of may i finished this while i was working today and um i've given it three stars so i listened to the audiobook for this which i don't think changed my mind um this felt so if i haven't actually mentioned this already this is the sequel to the butterfly garden which i read with my book club in november and i gave five stars it was one of my favorite books of last year um this one was very very different so this is actually following on from the events of the butterfly garden we're essentially following in a non-spoiler way we are following an fbi agent and their efforts to catch a further serial killer but there are some links with the butterfly garden in this so i didn't really like it as much i feel like by itself it could have been a good story but the links to the butterfly garden just weren't necessary and i don't know whether it needed to be a series whether 
we could have kept the FBI detective because that makes sense. Um, but I just feel like we didn't need to talk about the butterflies. I don't know, but three stars, it was okay. I'm trying not to say the F word. <laughs> if you've been here a while, you know what that is. Um, then this looks like a book to haul. It is technically, but it's not going on my haul for, a for the month because it's actually a replacement. Um, I've been cataloging my books and I will show you something about those again in a second. So I was flicking through my books to see how long they were, like page numbers, and I flicked through this particular book and realized more than two thirds of the pages were printed wrong. So um, it was actually a gift from Liam. Liam very kindly reached out to Amazon and it was past 30 days so they wouldn't do anything about it. So I actually reached out to the publisher and asked them for a new copy because, well I didn't ask them for a new copy, I let them know it was a problem and they sent a copy my way. So this is The Call. Cool. Um, even the, it feels different. So I feel like they really did change things and it's it's not as floppy. I feel like they really had an issue before. Um, but on first glance, the words do seem to be printed on the pages. Um, so thank you again to Liam for the gift over a month ago. <laughs> um, but thank you again. I now have a book that I can journal with because I can use the pages um, and a book to read. So this isn't on my haul because technically it was unhauled and rehauled within the same day. Um, so there is that one. What else do I have? Okay, so the other thing I did today um, was I didn't reorganize my shelf. I haven't put my decorations back yet in quite the right place, so it might look a bit weird, but if you ignore my tripod, this is what we're now looking at. And basically what's happened is any, I'm gonna turn you back around to my face. What I have done is I was really struggling to actually envision my TBR, and I know that makes no sense, but my TBR is over 400 books. So I wanted to be able to see at a glance what I need to read. Um, so I haven't finished doing this with my secondary shelves, just my main shelves. Anything I've already read, I have turned around so the pages are looking at me, and that means I'm not looking at the spine, um, so I can't see what book it is at first glance. And for me, it's a really helping me see what I'm actually dealing with in 400 books, because I'm like, oh yeah, I've got loads of books, I'll look at my shelves, and I'll get incredibly overwhelmed by the number of books there. But on these main shelves, I've like turned around 200 and I have 200 looking at me. So it feels much more manageable. That can't quite happen on the other side of the room where there's basically all TBR books, but it has helped and it's making me visualize it a bit better. So it does look weird at first glance, but I know people turn around their TBR books. So I've just done it the other way around, turn around the books that I've already read and I can now focus on the ones that I need to read. So that is what I've done. I need to fix all my decorations and do my other shelves and finish my cataloging and that is cool. Um, but yeah, that's been my day. Went out for dinner with two of my ex-colleagues, had a catch up. Um, that was really nice, really glad they wanted to do that actually and just like stay talking to me. <laughs> No, it was really nice. So did that today. That's kind of it for updates. I don't really have much more to tell you. Back to work in the office tomorrow, so might not be as big of an update, and I have the Vampire Diaries watch along, well, hiccups, when I get home. So I drank a lot of fizzy drinks. I'm struggling. <laughs> um, yeah, so back to work in the office tomorrow, and then I'll have the Vampire Diaries watch along, so I might not chat, but I might do some reading afterwards. We will see. This apartment was perfectly tidy two days ago and it's already chaos again so i need to sort that out and then i'll get in bed and either read or watch bridgerton who knows
it is actually now Monday evening and I really need to wrap up this vlog. Um, my weekend plans kind of fell through at the last minute so you won't have Monday's content of me hanging out in some cool town reading a book. Sadly but hey ho here we are and I'm wrapping up on Monday so I can get this edited and uploaded for you because this will be the last vlog you see for a little while while I have my little break but the vlogs will still come. I'm sure I've reassured you at the start of the video they will still come. I did do some reading while I was away. So on Saturday I finished You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone by Rachel Lynn Solomon and I gave this book four stars. I really did um, have a good time with it. This is about, if I haven't said, Adina and Tova who are twins. Their mother has Huntington's disease and they are taking the test to find out if one, both or neither of them have it. It was very moving. Um, as well as that we have normal teen drama, relationships, college admissions, um, and it was definitely a really interesting book. I'm um, also exploring Jewish culture, which is not something I thought would be a big part of this, but I really did find it interesting. Um, so yeah, four stars, not five, because I wanted to be hit in the face with a bit more emotion, but as I know somebody who unfortunately um, suffered with Huntington's disease and their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, um, it would now be a consideration for them to take the test to find out if they have it. Uh, yeah, it's quite emotional, but I did enjoy reading this book. And then I did start Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. I have since finished this, but I will leave that for Monday's vlog. But I did start this one, which is about Lena, whose mother has passed away from pancreatic cancer. Well, I picked some really uplifting books, didn't I? And she has moved to Italy to live with her dad. Um, and yeah, the summer is full of love and gelato. But I will save that for next week's vlog. For now then, that's kind of all I have time for. And I'm going to miss seeing you guys in the comments of my vlogs for a little while. But it's okay. We will get through it. There will still be two videos a week. And I'm sure you will cope without me. But I'll be back with all the content you may have possibly missed. Um, so, if you got to this point in the vlog, please leave me some sort of cheetah, leopard whatever this is, fun animal emoji to show me you got this far. It, I always say it, but I really appreciate it, guys. It means so much to me when you're still here at this point. So thank you in advance for anyone leaving the emoji. But now I really need to get back to my bank holiday reading sprints, which have really kept me going today. I'm so grateful. I'll get back to those and I will see you with some exciting vlogs not too far in the future. Bye. Bye.